On our way to Miami. Icon of the seas, here we come. Okay, the journey begins. We're on our way. Tomorrow we're boarding Icon of the seas. We just dropped the car off at Park and Fly. And we are now checked in at the Air Canada desk, which that's a whole other story. We're going to tell you uh, about our bag situation. Um, but right now we're going to go go through security and we will talk to you on the other side. Okay, security is done. We're going to go to Starbucks and get our pre-flight coffee. And actually, I think I'll get a tea this time. Um, security was pretty quick. Went through that. No problems. Uh, what we were telling you before about the bags is we had pre-selected seats. We bought them like six months ago. We chose row 15, seats A and C. And when we checked in last night, they had moved us to middle C and window C, which we had specifically chosen an aisle because I like an aisle. So after several calls to Air Canada and getting nowhere, they said, oh, deal with it at the airport. First agent we talked to at the airport was like, they'll deal with it at the gate. You'll get your refund for paying for the seats. So we shall see when we get to the gate whether that's actually a thing. But so far we've paid for seats, didn't get the ones we chose, and now we have to deal with the lady at the gate. And we'll see if we get those seats. to go. Larry is sitting at the gate waiting for the agent so we can try to get our money back from the pre-booked seats. So fingers crossed. Because that just made me so mad. Now, update on the seat situation. Of course the girl at the gate couldn't do anything. Um, so they said that we have to go online to Air Canada Customer Solutions and somehow that is gonna get us our refund for the seat. So that's the fifth person that we were shuffled off to. So I guess that's our course of action. It's boarding time. On our way to Miami. Icon of the seats, here we come. Okay, we're settled in our seats and good news is, this is not an Air Canada Rouge plane. This is a regular Air Canada plane. So that means we have room. Larry's so happy. So happy. Oh, my knees aren't going to kill me the rest of the flight. Yeah, this is the difference between regular Air Canada and Re Air Canada Rouge. But you can't choose that when you're booking. So we're just so happy that we have a regular Air Canada plane for this flight. Now we're going to sit back, relax, and Miami is the next stop. We are staying at Hilton Homewood Suites. Okay, we just got to our room. We're staying at the Hilton Homewood Suites by the airport. Because we're only here for one night, because tomorrow is the ship. It's a little room tour. It's super spacious, like really spacious. There's even like a little kitchenette over here. Uh, we have a bathroom. 
Okay, here is the washroom area for these Hilton Homewood Suites. So it has a nice big shower, toilet there, and then outside here we have little sink area. It's a pretty big room. This should be good for tonight. And then tomorrow is Icon of the Seas. Yay! We have a water view out here, but it's dark because it's late. morning we're here at homewood suites in miami <laughs> we just got up we had a good night's sleep we're gonna head down they have a whole breakfast thing here so we're just gonna go check that out um it's a pretty nice hotel i think we're happy with it comfortable um then we'll probably walk over to starbucks get a coffee relax for a little pack up and then get an uber to the ship and then we will kick it off we're so excited icon of the seas we've been waiting over a year for this and we can't wait just hope the sun shines i know quick note show them the i'm gonna weather. show you outside so this is the doom and gloom of the sky today and that is not fun for a sail away party so i really hope it breaks up before lunchtime but i'm not feeling too hopeful came down for breakfast. This is the breakfast area. I'll show you a little tour around there. Um, and then there's lots of seating, lots of spots to eat, and um, it's pretty good. I like it. So if you're ever staying around here, which is right across from the Miami Air Airport, it's a short walk to Starbucks. There's Chipotle, Panda Express. There's a little plaza over there with Publix where you can get your wine because you're allowed uh, a bottle each. Or is it two per stateroom? Or is it a bottle two of- per, per, Two per yeah, stateroom of wine to bring on board, which helps. We like to get a glass of wine to dinner tonight. Um, so we've gone to Starbucks, we went over to Publix to get our wine, and now we're just gonna head back and pack up our bag. We have a bit of a late boarding time. Our boarding time today is 1.30, which uh, I'd rather get on sooner. But we're gonna get to the port probably about, what, 12.30? Yeah, Try guess. to get on earlier if we can. I think they'll let us. So that's the plan, we're just walking back to Homewood Suites by Hilton, which was a pretty good stay. So I would recommend it. It's really close to the airport. You can actually hear the planes taking off and landing and as you right can now. See, the sun came out finally. Finally, yay. So we can have that sunny sail away. Just a quick pan around. This place is amazing. Oh my god. 
to Ocean View Balcony. Oh, they got the TV on. Wow. King bed. Uh, couch. Desk area. And here is our balcony. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna check out the bow. We're facing the port right now, but oh, nice balcony, spacious, Miami skyline, Big Lair's doing the investigation of the cabin. Wow, really nice, really spacious. I think we're gonna be pretty happy here. Hey, Lair. Wow, beautiful. First thoughts absolute, on boarding? Absolute easy process. I would assume the ships may be a bit emptier than it would be because that was quick. Room by one o'clock, usually it's three-ish. Yeah, we got our room by one. We don't have our suitcases yet here. They'll come soon, um, but wow. Wow. It's smooth, seamless. We already got some pizza at Sorrento's. So now we're just gonna get settled in, um, figure out, probably go on a tour around the ship to figure out where everything is. Um, we're pretty close to our elevator, so that's super handy. So we're on deck 12, uh, cabin 582. So we're gonna get settled in, go for a little tour, catch you back later. We just had a quick stop at the Pearl Cafe. No, sorry, not the Pearl Cafe, the Park Cafe, because we're sitting in Central Park on the ship. Uh, Larry just got himself a roast beef sandwich and a bag of chips, and I just grabbed myself an apple. Um, this place is amazing. Like, I, we're sitting in the park here right now. There's birds chirping. There's beautiful trees everywhere and flowers. I, you can't even describe this the level of detail and the beauty of this ship. It's absolutely insane. Like it's insane. This is the Park Cafe. So they have tons to offer. Lots of fresh fruit, lots of sandwiches. Um, lots of treats, yummy treats, fresh fruit. There's a carvery where Larry got his uh, roast beef on a bun. And they'll warm it for you. Potato chips if you want. Down here, I think there's some salads. Lots of different toppings. There's a place to eat inside. Over here, you've got coffee station, fresh juices. All here. It's a great spot to come because you're just sitting in Central Park and you can get all this fresh food. This is the Pearl Cafe. <laughs> We're already into the cookies. If you know, you know Royal Caribbean and their oatmeal cookies. No, it's not oatmeal. What, what's the flavor? Coconut. Coconut, yeah. The Pearl Cafe for the coconut. Famous Royal Caribbean cookies. This place has loads to offer. You want a sandwich, you want a treat, you want to get some lemonade, lots of specialty coffees, look at all the syrups, and then we can see this. Well, besides that handsome man, but look at the view of the Miami Harbor, and then all these amazing comfy couches to sit on. Wow.
Claire of Chill Island. Blown away. Absolutely blown away. Can't wait to watch Carrie go on all these rides. I think I'll go on this one right here, this green one. I think you the go. The family raft kind of thing. Family rafter. No, no, go on that one. That's that one that just drops out of nowhere. No, I think I'll save that for you. You can show everyone what that one's about. But we'll just keep on walking through here. great day exploring the ship trying to figure out where everything is might take us a couple of days we think we know where we're going learned where the promenade was the aqua dome uh, where all the food options are starbucks and now we're just on our balcony as we sail out of miami dinner because you're allowed to bring two bottles of wine on board which is clutch. Just got to the dining room and we have a table by the window which we love. We have a table for two. There's Wiggler over there. 
So we just sat down to dinner. Um, we brought our wine from the cabin. And uh, we're just waiting for the menus and we'll let you know what's for the meal tonight. Night number one. Here is the welcome aboard menu. We have uh, the chef's recommendation. We have the starters, uh, the main courses, and premium selection, and desserts. Definitely having the key lime pie because I love that. And leaning towards Caesar salad, and maybe I'll try this southern fried chicken for tonight. Okay, the breads have arrived. Mm. These breads are so delicious. the room we had dinner dinner was really good I had the chicken the Caesar salad the key lime pie which I love I love Royal Caribbean's key lime pie Larry you had the shrimp, <coughs> shrimp to start I had the country fried chicken or southern fried chicken it was really good with corn and mashed potatoes and Boston cream pie for dessert yeah, service was good, food was yep. good, so we're pretty happy with that, except for Chatty McCathy at our, the table next to us, but anyway. Then we went to the Aqua Show, which was amazing. So good. So good. Really yeah. Good. So we're just going to uh, probably head to the casino and spend a little money, but hopefully win some money. Uh, it's a beautiful night out. You can hear the, the waves crashing against the side of the ship uh so we're gonna say good night here um hope you enjoyed our day of boarding icon of the seas we will see you tomorrow we have a full sea day so if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up uh, or subscribe we would love that and we'll see you tomorrow good night